this is one Cognos report. Inside of it, we have this list, and this list is made with this query. I want to send this report to several users, but I do not want that each user receives the whole list. I want that each user receives only data that pertain to that user. For example, first user will receive only data about defective products, second user about incomplete products, and so on. And to achieve this, I don't have to create several reports, I can use bursting functionality. For bursting functionality, we have to tell to Cognos to whom to send which part of this list. And for that, we have to create one auxiliary query, that would be this query here, and we will now go to see what we have inside of this bursting query. We have two columns. I will execute this uh, query to see our data. And we can see now that everything about incomplete products will be sent to this email address. Everything about defective products will be sent to this email address. In reality, all of these email addresses would be different, but here I wanted for all of the emails to end in the same inbox, so I have used the same email address. Let us now go back. We will go back to page one, and we can notice that here we also have a third query. Now, this third query will not be connected with this bursting functionality in any way. I have used this third query to create uh, this list. And because this query is not connected with bursting, uh, the whole list will be sent to each user. So this list will be ineffected with uh, bursting. The next step is to create a connection between this report query and this bursting query because we want this report query to be if affected uh, with bursting. For that, we go here to report menu, we go to report, we go here to burst options property, we click on three dots and we enable bursting. In the left part of this dialog, we will enter data about our report query, but in the right side, we will enter data about our bursting query. So here first, I will select query with data, and that would be report query. Uh, this second option, it seems that it is ineffective. It doesn't do anything, so I will just skip it. And I will then click on this pencil, and here I will drag this column return reason uh, description, because I will use this column as a condition to split my list into parts. Okay, and then on this right side, I will first select a bursting query. Inside of this uh, query, important column is column email. And I have to tell to Cognos that inside of this email column, we have data of the type email address. And then we have to create a connection between these two queries, and for that we will use master detail relationship. So I will click here, I will click on new link, and I will create a connection between this column and this column. I will click on OK and, and on OK. And then we can go back. Now I have to confess that inside of this uh, Cognos instance, I don't have enough privileges to use bursting functionality. And instead of that, I will just uh, emulate what you should do in order to use that bursting uh, functionality if you have right to use it on your instance of Cognos. Let us now save this report and then we will go to content. I will open action menu for this report. I will click on run as. I will enable option run in background. I will check this Excel file format. I will disable HTML and here we have one option missing and it is missing because I don't have enough privileges, but I do have an image of that option. That option should look like this. And here is a toggle to enable bursting functionality. We should enable this uh, toggle, and then we should go here to below. We should enable send report by email. We can go to edit details. Now, if we are using bursting, this field here will not exist. It will be missing because we have already defined our email addresses, but here we can define a subject, a message, and we can turn on uh, this option here. After that, we can click on run, but I will click on cancel because bursting will not work for me. And also, if we are using scheduling, uh, everything will be the same. Again, we would have uh, this option and we would turn all of the same options and everything will be the same. Now, in order to show you how those emails would look like, 
I manually emulated those emails. So I have created five emails by hand instead of uh, creating all of them uh, at once by using bursting functionality, just to show you how these emails would look like. First, they will all have uh, the same subject. The name of attachment will be always the same, but if we open those attachments, for example, if I open this attachment here, I would see only data for defective products. But this list, it will be complete because this list is unaffected with bursting. So here we have defective products, but for some other user, for example, uh, this one, uh, we would see wrong product order. So this user would see only rows that pertain to him. And again, this list here will be complete because this uh, list is unaffected by bursting. Let us now go uh, back to our report. And that is how we are using bursting with lists. But what if we want to use bursting with some other Cognos object, for example, with cross tab or visualization? Well, in that case, uh, we should go to this second uh, report where I have prepared this cross tab. This cross tab is made with this uh, query here. And now we can also make a connection between uh, this query and bursting query. But this will not work. This will not work because bursting doesn't work on cross tabs. In this case, we have to use a workaround. So first here, I will create a list because bursting it only works on list. And this list will be tied to this query for everybody. We click on OK. And then I will add the only column from this uh, query. And then inside of this list, I will embed some cross tabs. I will tie these cross tabs to report query. And now you can see what I'm trying to achieve. I will use master detail relationship to create a separate cross tab for each user. Inside of this cross tab, we have to place some data. So I will place description here, return quantity here and here here. And now while this cross tab is selected, I will go to master detail relationship. I will click on new link and I will connect these two columns. And now we have a different cross tab for each user. We are now ready to create a bursting functionality. But before that, I will select these cells here and I will change uh, their box type to none because I don't need them. And then we can go to report menu to report. We will go to burst options and we will enable this. Now query on the left side now will be this for everybody. I will click on this pencil and I will drag this column. Then on the right side, we will again use bursting query. Uh, we will use email column that is of email address data type. And now we will create our connection, master detail relation between these two uh, columns. And I will click on OK and then on OK again. And now our report is ready, but we still have one problem. Uh, this cross tab is unacceptable. It will mess up our bursting. Our bursting will not work. So the only thing that we can do, we can delete this cross tab. Only cross tabs inside of our list should remain. And we can now finally run our report. But as previously said, I will not really run it because I cannot use bursting in this instance of Cognos. But we will go here to our emails. Here I have created some emails by hand. So we will open some attachments. I will open this attachment. And here we will see only defective product. And if we click here, open this attachment, we will see only wrong product ordered. So this is how we can uh, still use bursting while uh, we want to use something else uh, than list. If we want to use cross tabs or visualizations, then we should use uh, this workaround.